I'm Conrad. And I'm Sigoni. And we're your hosts of Think, Think About, About It. it. Think about this. The pioneers of the information age have changed the way we live today. Alexander Graham Bell is credited as being the inventor of the telephone in 1876. This allows us to talk in real time over long distances. Just about 20 years ago, the global information medium known as the World Wide Web, Web began to allow us to share and access electronic data across the world through a series of interconnected networks. For the next few moments, we will explore how you can be part of this revolution and become a modern pioneer and enabler of change in today's modern world. Hi, I'm Kwesi Prescott. Executive Officer of PPME at the Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, or TAT. You probably wonder what TAT does. Well, we regulate the telecommunications and broadcasting sector in Trinidad and Tobago. Through this, we promote a better quality of life for you, citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, through the use of information and communication technologies, or ICTs. Today, we want to explore what careers you can step into right now in Trinidad and Tobago. But first, here are some statistics on ICT. According to the International Telecommunications Union, World Telecommunication and ICT Indicators Database, there are over 6 billion cell phone subscriptions worldwide today. Growth in this sector has been driven largely by developing countries that account for more than 80% of users. There are more than 1 billion mobile broadband subscribers worldwide. There are also more than 2.3 billion internet users worldwide. In developing countries, the percentage of individuals using the internet approximate to 70%. In Trinidad and Tobago alone, there are nine free-to-air television stations, nine subscription television stations, and 38 free-to-air radio stations, in addition to the growing trend of internet radio and streaming video broadcasts. Today, information and communication technologies continue to evolve due to a strong demand for communication devices which are used every day, business and living. Choosing a career path as early as possible is important as what you want to pursue will determine the tertiary education path you choose. If you are no longer at this stage but still haven't figured out which career path to take, then here are some tips you may want to consider. Tip 1. What are the things in life that I am passionate about or interested in? When choosing a career path, it's best to answer these questions, making sure your answers come from your heart. Consider that you are not only doing this for passion, but also for financial independence. There's nothing more rewarding than loving what you do and, at the same time, making a living from it. My name is Ian Ali and I'm a lecturer at the UTT Diploma in Animation Program. The Animation Program is a part of the ICT department at UTT. There are various careers. Um, you can work as a graphic artist, you can work as an animator, you can... And within the animation um, field there are specialty areas, different skill sets that are required in the industry. For example, you could be a pro animator, you can be a storyboarder, you could be an illustrator, you could be a, a painter, um, you could be an editor. Um, we also have a music component in it and we do have students who are coming to the program that are strong in um, music and who have actually created their musical pieces for their own films. Hone your talent. Okay, Hone your talent, be very dedicated, be very firm about what you want to do, confident about what you want to do and then apply to us. Tip 2. Discover what you're good at. It is important for us to set the goals and objectives in life that we want to achieve. Even though we may sometimes be discouraged by negative thoughts, fears and apprehensions. Take time to evaluate yourself while doing different jobs and keep an open mind. You should also keep in mind that some careers will lead you to start your own business. 
You will learn over time what it takes to be a successful business person while developing your unique skill. I am Adrian Hackshaw, a.k.a. Third Base. Two more for them, two more for them! I would advise anybody wanting to get into the business, I mean, don't give up. It's hard, I mean, it's, it's more, you know, popular now than it was before. Every year. There are many, many more radio stations. Maybe it's easier. There are a lot of schools out there you can get into. When I was, you know, growing up, wanted to do it um, out of school, there was, there was no school for me to go to. I never went to university to study, you know, the radio or the music, that kind of thing. I just listened. And once you, you know, have the, the urge and the need and the desire and the passion to want something, you will do it. We enjoyed it, of course. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, we're back at it tomorrow, third base ultimate DJ Sh What a way to end the day! What a way to end the day! Tip 3. Get off to a good start. In the initial stages of your career, do not pressure yourself into achieving something that typically takes three to five years to achieve. Discover all the things you want and need to know about your chosen career path and learn how to do them well. Whenever possible, participate in training programs and workshops to increase your knowledge and skills relevant to your chosen career. My name is Conrad Toby and I'm a telecommunication engineer at the Telecommunication Authority of Trinidad and Tobago. I've always been fascinated by the growth in the telecommunication sector. It's a sector that never remains stagnant, yeah. always on the move. And I've, since, since I've started as an apprentice working in the electrical and electronic industry, I've always been fascinated with the telecommunication sector just keep growing. And there's always a drive to learn new things every day. So I've decided to, to major more my education and my experience in the telecommunication sector. One which has allowed me to grow from apprentice level straight up to the managerial level. Remember, we are living in the information age where change is rapid and the choices you make will affect your quality of life tomorrow. So stay flexible. ICT is all around us. On the radios that we listen to. The television we watch. The computers that we use. The cell phones in our pockets. Even in some of the technologies in the cars that we drive. <laughs> Even though we cannot actually see or hold this data in our hands, there are lots of jobs that involve the creation, storage, retrieval, transmission, and receipt of data. Are you going to be a part of the revolution? Think about it.